So today I wanted to make this video about what to take to university. Um, I probably should have made this video a few weeks ago, but anywho, um, basically since I've been at uni for the past two years and I've lived away from home, um, I kind of wanted to give you guys who are starting for the first time or who are moving out for the first time a little bit of knowledge that I have actually learned living away from from home um, and what to take with you for that matter. So my university when I got my horse pack thing that they send you um, they sent me this and living in harmony and it's like like the know about, about halls and all of that jazz. Um, last year though they started doing this part in it and um, things to bring and you know you can take off what to bring they couldn't have done this day before for me. <laughs> Anywho, um, so this is really useful to use on um, what to take the horse, but a few months before, um, on Facebook, a friend that I had made on my course, through another friend, um, sent me a list online of what to use. Um, they sent me it on Facebook, but it was actually the student room. Um, died and I just went on to um, Google this time to find out the same list of what to give to my friend who is living off for the first time and she didn't really know what to take with her. Um, apart from seeing all the stuff I have, I was like, how the hell did you realise you needed all this stuff? Well, um, so I just went on Google and searched what to take to university and now there are some really good lists on there and there are even ones where you can just print them off and just take off. But do not buy everything on the list because you probably will not need most of it. Um, so the list I use is, like I said, it's on the student room. And it was a good list, but what I did, what, well, what me and my mum did was we sat down and I read the list off to it and we were like, okay, well, you'll need that, you won't need that kind of a thing. But that's just how me and my mum are. We like making lists and being organised. But if you just want to be like, just print the list off and just go around being M's or has to or whatever you're going to get uni stuff um and just take it off there to find do whatever you want to do they used to just tips to help you and a little bit of guidance of what I've learned from the last two years I'm not a guru or an expert or anything and I do like proclaim to be also another good website to use is um check to campus dot com slash store slash bleh, slash checklist pdf um, and that is one of them where you can just print it off and you know go okay so that's the listing also compare this list if your university sends you one of these with the list online because there might be stuff in the, in the ad that you're like oh I really want to but they might not allow it but sometimes sneak it in and I didn't tell you guys that Shh. <laughs> Places where to shop to get your uni stuff. Now I have seen students or yeah the, the students like first years or people moving off for the first time which you don't have to be a first year to move off into halls for the first time um going around Asda and places like that lately like Asda is a good place to get stuff and um, most of it's cheap and you know it'll do you like you want things that you can break because you're a student and I party might get drunk and just whack a glass off a table and it'll smash everywhere but you know you can replace it cheaply if you need to um as the Tesco's being um is heaven I got most of my stuff from being um actually um Primark's also great Aldi is really good not many people think to go to Aldi but I actually got my toaster maker from there for like seven quid and it was really good. Max is good for some stuff. I didn't get any of my stuff from there. But that's just because I found it in other places. Um, Sainsbury's is really good. Just places like that. Morrison's is good. They have like offers on for like students. Or they'll have like things on offer. Because uh, they know the students will go in and get these stuff. Um, also Marks and Spencers have some really good stuff on. I know you think Marks and Spencers is expensive. But they do have some good offers on. Um, and I fuck with the two of them. So that was really good. They do have some really good student offers on there. Especially on bedding and stuff. But I love Primark because I love going in. And getting like all the different like. 
potions and stuff. Um, also, I'm forgetting one of the main places I went to get stuff. Ikea! Ikea is freaking amazing for students moving out. I got actually quite a few things from Ikea and even like this year I've gone back to get things that I need or to replace things from Ikea. I mean, ah, I got this awesome pillow from Ikea and I will probably fall asleep trying to study on it. That's how great it is. Um, so that's like places to go to get yourself. You don't have to take any of this advice like I said. Or even if like you are already a student and you like you broke some last year and like, oh I can't remember where I got it from. Just wander around. <laughs> go and find it. Find it if you really want it that bad. Or just go to like Asda or Tesco's or somewhere and replace it. It's fine. Um I think that it. I got my new oven trays from there the other week and they were like four quid for two of them. My little tip of advice for packing. With packing, just the list I have already linked in the description bar below, use that for packing as well because if you put all your kitchen stuff together or your bathroom stuff together, all your like DVDs, books, sketchbooks, whatever you need, if you like section them up together, like bedding, put all your bedding stuff together and that kitchen stuff like I've already said. Um, like essential stuff, you know, put it all together, even take put all your computer bits together or as close together as you can, depending on how you're packing. Um, and it would just help you when you get to uni and you've got to unpack all this stuff and you're like, ah, you know, you'll have like a box or whatever for your kitchen stuff. So when you're doing your kitchen, just take the box in. Uh, to the kitchen to put your stuff away in there and then you know like bathroom stuff put it where you know it'll be easy to access so go in the bathroom or you know if you have your own ensuite you know you can sort it out by just like a box or whatever you are using to take your stuff to uni and rather than you know, like oh my bathroom stuff mixed with my kitchen stuff and you go and put your hand in a bag and you've stabbed yourself with a knife or something you know people are can do that kind of a thing. Um, I actually got a tip from my friend last night um, who was moving for uni for the first time. I didn't really think to path that way. I think I did in first year and then this year I'm just like, ah, I've got a week to do that. Um, also, if you are leaving behind to the last minute, then just remember that things can always get posted as well, but it does cost a lot for my posting at the moment. Um, if you're leaving back until the last minute, just please try and get all your stuff together. Um, like now, just kind of put it in like a corner of your room, like all the things you want to take to uni, or all the things you need to take, use the list, and just put them all together because then at least when you're packing the night before, you have all your stuff together in one place rather than running around and making your room more of a tip to try and find stuff than losing stuff that you already had in the pile. Um, it's just going to help you basically and sorry for playing with my hair, don't know what it's doing today. Anyway, it's just going to help you be a bit more organised and when you're packing at 2 in the morning and you want to get there for like, I don't know, like 11 o'clock in the morning, it's going to help you, it really is. So that's just another tip that I thought that might help you guys. Also, um, before you leave home, if you know the address or whatever of where you're staying, just write it down or text it to your parents or whatever what you get there. Just because if you know, they want to send you something that you forgot, they actually already know the address or they'll have it on the phones or something. Um, if you've forgotten something that you really need and they can't travel for whatever reason to bring it up to you, then at least they can post it and you'll get it in a few days or the next day. So that's just another tip. So clothes. Now, it depends the way you are going to university in the country um, or if you're going to university abroad, what is the weather going to be like where you're going? Now in the UK, the weather's usually, you know, same-ish for most of the country, but you know, the east coast of the country might get snow one week because it's closer to Europe. 
west coast of the country might just get rain all the time like we always do um southern part of the country might be sunnier so you've got to think um i'm from liverpool and i go to university in bolton and bolton's colder and we get more rain in bolton and it snows a lot more in bolton even in the sky book it says bring stuff and be like closing that for rain and snow so it just depends where you're going in the country or if you are going traveling abroad what the weather is going to be like in that country and where in that country that you are going um for instance if you are going from london to study in edinburgh you won't need the same like clothes that you wear in london you'll need to you know clothes that what the weather's going to be like in edinburgh i've been to edinburgh i love edinburgh but it's cold <laughs> it's usually colder in edinburgh from london but it just depends on the time of year and stuff and that's what you've got to pack for with clothes to the time of year also pack wellies even if you are going somewhere that's usually a little bit warm or it's usually sunnier than the rest of the UK or the northwest of it anyway take wellies they're always handy and you know I got caught out in the snow last year um I was in town in Bolton and I was like oh it's not going to snow you know no forecast for snow or it's going to do it later on and I went out in just like a normal jeans converse um hoodie jacket kind of thing um Oh, did I have my emu? I think I have my emu boots on because my feet were really cold or something. But anyway, like I went out in like a normal outfit and I got caught in the snow and so did Dave and I don't think Dave had snow stuff with him. And then it just snowed for like the rest of the day, rest of the night. And then in the morning we had to go to Manchester and we had a foot of snow. So always take wellies <laughs> with you wherever you're going because they will be, haven't they? usually are useful even just to wear walking to uni in the rain useful wellies and umbrellas um yeah just think of stuff like that don't forget basic essentials like and your computer um plugging connections you can and plugging connections like to sync your ipod or your computer or whatever headphones your ipod you know, stuff like that. I will link the list that I use in the description below. I hope this helped you guys. And if you guys want to see me packing or have any other like things that you guys want me to talk about about going to university, let me know in the comments below, please. And I will get back to you. Or if you want to send me a message and ask a few questions. Like I said, I don't know everything. I don't want to probably know everything and I don't protest to know everything but if I can help you guys then I'll help. Anyway I'm gonna go but I love you guys, thank you guys for watching. Also check out my blog temper video that should be up um, about what I'm up to today or yesterday or the day before or yeah, well, tomorrow is tomorrow if you want to. So it's up to you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like this video if you liked it and thought it was helpful or useful to you anyway. Please subscribe if you want. I don't know if I'm going to do another video about university, but I am doing vlog September at the moment. The month of September, vlogging every day. And yeah, I love you guys and I shall speak to you guys tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.